up for Alexander Fuller. One more time for Alexander Fuller. Uh huh, uh -huh man. What a, what, a, what a great joke we got going right now. Oh, there you go. How we doing tonight? I'll tell you what. I got a new girlfriend. Bit different. It's a lot of change. Big change. I'll tell you what. She always hits me with these scenarios, right? She's like, baby, if somebody broke into the house and they were going to rob us, and they said, your girlfriend's dead or suck my dick. Would you suck his dick? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you're dead. <laughs> you're fucking dead. <laughs> she huffed and puffed. She's like, you wouldn't save me? No, bitch. <laughs> she huffed some more. I was like, I'm just kidding, sweetie. I love you. So you'd suck a dick. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> like, bitch, we met on Tinder. There's no commitment. <laughs> Tell you what, guys, I grew up in Roswell. Anybody from Roswell? God damn. Thank God. I love everybody in this room. I grew up in Roswell, and it was terrible. And my parents decided to fuck my childhood up even more, move into the country. But the country's not bad. You got rec sports, you know. But for us, you know, there's always that kid on the fucking team. I played baseball. The kid on the team that sucks, you know what I mean? <laughs> if the ball gets hit to him, you're going to fucking lose a game. <laughs> it's like, for us, it was Timmy. He came up to us one day and he was like, you guys, guess what? I found out one of my teachers is having sex with a student. <laughs> well, I like each other. Motherfucker, you're homeschooled. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> terrible. It's fucking terrible. <laughs> Don't move your kids to the country. That's what you get. I like my grandma. She's old and southern. We're in the middle of Best Buy, and she uses one of the most old terms. Can't say this shit anymore. You gotta be politically correct. She uses the term colored in front of everybody. Like, God damn it, grandma. It's either 4K or HD. You'll get your fucking ass kicked. These Best Buy people aren't fucking around. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking terrible, man. I hate it. How's everybody doing today? Anybody drink craft beer? Craft beer drinkers? She's too young for you. Leave her the fuck alone, man. I was at a party one time. The guy handed me a beer. He was like, yeah, it's got a hint of lemongrass. It's wheat. Pairs really good with a mango jewel. I was like, <laughs> the fuck? Dude, you're 55 wearing a fucking beard. You own this goddamn house, don't you? <laughs> I see right through you. You got mortgage in your eyes, motherfucker. <laughs> Here. You're not fooling anybody. Goddamn North Face looking motherfucker. It's terrible, man. It's terrible. Land of traffic. I'll tell you what, we got a problem here. It's a big problem. People want change. I came up with a solution. Carry a goddamn slingshot in your back pocket. They won't want change anymore. Hey, man. Got any change? Goddamn right I do. <laughs> Horrible, horrible, horrible. I'm an asshole. Ask my girlfriend. She's dead. Oh. Oh. Don't worry, don't worry. I have a good attorney. <laughs> She's not that dead. She's just in a coma. Like, roofies aren't the fucking same anymore. You motherfuckers from there. Oh. <laughs> Terrible. Open mic. I tell you what, these open mics, they remind me the first time I had sex because they only fucking last four minutes and I get laughed at they even, they even talk about I guarantee you the owner of the laughing school he's like deleting me off fucking his top five from MySpace right now he's like nope no more you're going to four tell you what guys I'm going to get out of here with this you guys are awesome you've been a great crowd thank you so much yeah Don't go breaking your hands clapping. No, I'm just <laughs> Thank you, guys. Give it up for Alexander Fowler, everybody. Give it up. Give it up.